Fox News Flash Top Headlines are here. Check out what's clicking on foxnews.com. The Duchess of Sussex on Thursday won the latest stage in her long, running privacy lawsuit against a newspaper publisher over its publication of parts of a letter she wrote to her estranged father. The Court of Appeal in London upheld a high court ruling in February that publication of the letter that the former Meghan Markle wrote to her father, Thomas Markle, after she married Prince Harry in 2018 was unlawful and breached her privacy. The publisher of The Mail on Sunday and The Mail Online website challenged that decision at the Court of Appeal, which held a hearing last month. Dismissing that appeal, Senior Judge Jeffrey Voss told the court in a brief hearing Thursday that the Duchess had a reasonable expectation of privacy in the contents of the letter. Those contents were personal, private and not matters of legitimate public interest. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry pose for pictures. After visiting the observatory in One World Trade in New York, Thursday, September 23, 2021. AP photo slash Seth Wenig, file, Prince Charles. Prince William told Prince Harry he was overreacting about Archie's skin tone remarks, book in a statement, Meghan, 40. Said the ruling was a victory not just for me, but for anyone who has ever felt scared to stand. Up for what's right. While this win is precedent setting, what matters most is that we are now collectively brave enough to reshape a tabloid industry that conditions people to be cruel and profits from the lies and pain that they create, she said. Associated newspapers disputed Meghan's claim that she didn't intend the letter to be seen by anyone but her father. They said correspondence between Meghan and her then communications secretary, Jason Knopf, showed the Duchess suspected her father might leak the letter to journalists and wrote it with that in mind. The publisher also argued that the publication of the letter was part of Thomas Markle's right to reply following a People magazine interview with five of Meghan's friends, alleging he was cruelly cold, shouldering his daughter in the run-up to her royal wedding. But Voss said that the article, which the Mail on Sunday described as sensational, was splashed as a new public revelation rather than focusing on Thomas Markle's response to negative media reports about him. In its appeal, Associated newspapers had also argued that Meghan made private information public by cooperating with Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, authors of Finding Freedom, a sympathetic book about her and Harry. The Duchess lawyers had previously denied that she or Harry collaborated with the authors. But Knopf said in evidence to the court that he gave the writers information and discussed it with Harry and Meghan. Knopf's evidence, which hadn't previously been disclosed, was a dramatic twist in the long-running case. In response, Meghan apologized for misleading the court about the extent of her cooperation with the book's authors. A view of the Royal Courts of Justice in London. Thursday, December 2, 2021. AP photo slash Kirsty Wigglesworth, the Duchess said she didn't remember the discussions with Knopf when she gave evidence earlier in the case and I apologize to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court, she said. Meghan, a former star of the American TV legal drama Suits, married Harry, a grandson of Queen Elizabeth II, at Windsor Castle in May 2018. Meghan and Harry announced in early 2020 that they were quitting royal duties and moving to North America citing what they said were the unbearable intrusions and racist attitudes of the British media. They have settled in Santa Barbara, California, with their two young children. Click here to get the Fox News app The Royal Courts of Justice in London. Thursday, December 2, 2021. AP photo slash Kirsty Wigglesworth, in her statement Thursday, Meghan strongly condemned Associated Newspapers for treating the lawsuit as a game with no rules. She said she had been subject to deception, intimidation and calculated attacks in the three years since the lawsuit began. The longer they dragged it out, the more they could twist facts and manipulate the public even during the appeal itself. Making a straightforward case extraordinarily convoluted in order to generate more headlines and sell more newspapers. A model that rewards chaos above truth, she said.